Smartway. Yeah, 89.9 KMOJ, the People Station. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Future Flavor. I am your host, Chris Stow. And here with me right now is a man who goes by the name of AR, and he is actually the recent winner of the Rush of the Flush It. But for those of you who do not know, he is a well respected St. Paul artist who has actually come down here tonight to listen to some of his music, show him some love. The yeah. spotlight is on him. Um, Appreciate it. If anybody out there who uh, got any questions or want to, you know, give them some feedback, constructive criticism, or just show them some love, hit us up at 612-377-3456 or 377-3443. Now, a and R. Yes, sir. Now, you have pretty much, I would say, kind of like, um, uh, 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 hmm. you have a light about yourself that, you know, yeah. you know that definitely shines. But you also got bragging rights that, you know, kind of, you know, you wear yeah. as badges. So what are some of those things that you kind of, you know, set yourself apart from, you know, your normal Minneapolis or St. Paul artist or rapper? Well, yeah. One thing about me is that um, I've never had a manager or ever been signed to a label. And um, I've been real blessed to, you know, have a lot of accomplishments in my career, you know, before all of that comes. And, um... I was the first hip hop artist to perform at the Minnesota Centennial Showboat Theater and the JJ Hill Mansion. First, first hip hop artist to you know create a theme song for uh, a major athlete, of, if you want to say that you know for Joe Mauer. Everybody no, knows. What? What I said? Did you say uh, the Minnesota Twins? Yeah, Joe Mauer, the All Star player. <laughs> Who won um batting champion, all star, all the You books. actually brought an article with you too. Yeah. I was in um October, I was in the ESPN, you know, magazine page thirty eight. What's dope about that um article also is that everybody knows Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? And we were both interviewed interviewed by the same lady, Molly Knight. And um in his interview he's saying how before he ends his career he wants to create an at-bat song for yeah, a major yeah. league player. Read to us what the article says. Well, it says basically um, it's the first time a local hip-hop artist has wrote a song for a professional baseball player. So it was kind of a big deal. Joe was kind of embarrassed, you know, because when I made it, one thing about my style of music, when I make music, it's always like personal to life in general. and. If you heard the song before, I put a lot of his like personal things in it. His birthday, you know, his little awards he won, all of that. So when he heard it, you know, I'm saying in the article how he was kind of embarrassed when he heard it. He's, he just was listening and he just put his head down, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. wow, you know what I'm saying? So it was a shock for him and, you know, for everybody who don't, who don't know, it plays every time you know, he goes up to bat at every single um, home Minnesota Twins game. All so. right, so we're going to give him a little dose of that, the actual, what you wrote for him. So here we go. Yeah. It, does it does it have his own title? The Joe Mauer Joe intro? Mauer theme song. All right, Next so. one will be Joe Mauer 09, and All we'll right. be bringing that later on. Bet, bet. So here y'all go. You hear an exclusively right here on Future Flavor. At bat, oh. bat. Number, Number seven, seven, seven for the Minnesota, the Minnesota Twins. 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 Oh. 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 Guess who stepped up to the plate? It's minus one from number eight. Number Check seven. the sideburns, can you relate? Woo. Straight from the home of the Great Lakes. He got soul power, it's Joe Mauer, the human highlight tape. 